ह्यूमन ब्रेन द ह्यूमन ब्रेन इज ए पार्ट ऑफ सेंट्रल नर्वस सिस्टम द ब्रेन इज लोकेटेड इन द हेड रीजन एंड वेल प्रोटेक्टेड बाय द क्रेनियम द ब्रेन स्टेम कंटिन्यूज एज अ स्पाइनल कॉर्ड एंड प्रोटेक्टेड बाय द वर्टिब्रल कॉलम ब्रेन इज द सेंटर फॉर ऑल द बॉडीली एक्टिविटीज कंट्रोल्स ओवर एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम एंड सो ऑन brain is the largest and most complex organ in the human body and weighs about 1.2 to 1.4 kg the entire brain is composed of a complex network of neurons neurons are the structural and functional unit of nervous system they carry impulses in the form of electrical signals human brain has three major parts fore brain mid brain and hind brain fore brain consists of cerebrum thalamus and hypothalamus cerebrum is the major and largest part of the human brain a deep cleft divides the cerebrum longitudinally into two halves and termed as left and right hemisphere Both the hemispheres are connected by a tract of nerve fibers called corpus callosum. Cerebrum is the seat of consciousness because it has the center for intelligence, imagination, emotions, reasoning and will power. And cerebrum stores the information which are gained through the sense organs. The cerebrum wraps around the structure called thalamus. Thalamus is a major coordinating center for sensory and motor signaling. Hypothalamus. Hypothalamus is an another important part of brain. Lies at the base of the thalamus. Hence the name. Hypothalamus regulates the body temperature, urge for eating, and water balance. Amygdala and hippocampus present in the inner parts of the cerebral hemisphere forms a structure called limbic lobe or system it is involved in the regulation of sexual behaviors expression of emotional reactions and motivations midbrain is located between the thalamus of the forebrain and the pons of the hindbrain the midbrain serves important functions in the motor movement particularly movements of the eyes and auditory and visual processing hindbrain the hindbrain comprises pons cerebellum and medulla oblongata cerebellum is the second largest part of the brain it has a very convoluted surface in order to provide the additional space for many more neurons Cerebellum controls and coordinates the movement of muscles while walking or running. Hence it is responsible for maintenance of the posture and the balance of the body. Riding a bicycle, holding a pencil, walking on a rope are some examples how cerebellum balances our body by the movement of muscles. Pons Veroli it regulates mastication facial expression and respiration the pneumotaxic center of the pons helps to maintain alternately current of inspiration and expiration medulla oblongata medulla controls most of the involuntary activities it has the centers which control respiration called respiratory rhythmic center it has the centers which control respiration called respiratory rhythmic center and also controls over cardiovascular reflexes and gastric secretions